A Pequot Lake student is spreading happiness to other students and teachers with her new and unique gift of making gifts out of a sock. Our reporter Hanky Hazelton has more on our Golden Apple Report. It's like a stuffed animal, but made from a sock. Pequot Lakes High School junior Hannah Elstrom made sock cleans just as a hobby until one teacher was quite impressed with her craft. I said, oh my gosh, other people would love these too. We could make these for other people. After making one herself, Miss Palmer and Hannah came up with a plan on how to make more for students and teachers. We decided, well, we should probably, if we're making quite a few, I should purchase some socks and then uh, she cuts them, sews them, stuffs them, and then I'm helping her type information. Hannah, who provides a pleasant smile and is kind to everyone she meets, explains there's only one reason she decided to make socklings and will continue to do so. As long as people like them and I enjoy making them, might as well just give them away because I think it's better to spread joy by giving them away than try to like sell them on like. A garage sale. Although it may look like an easy project, there can be some challenges Hannah can have, like the cutting process. You have to like eyeball it. You can like try measuring it out and then drawing it out. I guess that'd be a probably simpler process. But like sometimes when you're just holding like one part and trying to do like the secondary ear to make the U, you kind of get like you can see with this one is if I sew this up, it'll like, probably be hidden more the ridge and like the unevenness. Hannah's hard work has gone far from a notice from a group called Lighthouse Project, helping students who are depressed and contemplating suicide. The Lighthouse Project asked if they could have some of our socklings, so we presented to them this week and they took some of the socklings, put them in these care packages and gave those away. Reporting in Pequot Lakes with this week's Golden Apple, Hanky Hazelton, Lakeland News. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.